These are five things I love about Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. So number one on this list is going to be markets. Markets, markets, markets. I love markets when visiting a city and a country. Now in my previous video, five things I kind of hate about Malaysia, I talked about how it's dominated by shopping malls, which is true, but there are also some great markets, which for me are a more authentic way to experience a country and city and culture and see more unique local vendors. And in Kuala Lumpur, you can definitely do this, whether we're talking about like street food markets, such as Jalan Alor. There's also some other ones that are a little bit off the beaten path. You have Vilan Petaling, which is in Chinatown. You have the Central Market, you have Katsuri Wak, and so many other cool places to see some unique sort of parts of Malaysian culture and food. In this way, in food, we will definitely talk about more on this list. So that's number one, everybody. The markets in Kuala Lumpur, gotta love them. And two is going to be the diversity in Malaysia. So I didn't know a ton about Malaysia before visiting. My friend that I visited in Malaysia, he is like a Chinese descendant and a lot of people in Malaysia are Chinese, but I didn't really know what to expect as far as like the population makeup. So it turns out most of the population, just slightly above half of them are Malay, but there's also a lot of Chinese descendants. There's also a lot of Indian descendants and like expats from other countries as well. But everyone there is very accepting from my understanding. And many people speak multiple languages, which I don't really get to experience in America where everyone speaks English. Few people like know a little bit of Spanish, but nothing like substantial. But my friend Willie and other people are able to have like basic level conversations or get by in like three or four different languages, which is so cool to me. And also this is um, prominent in the religious sort of composition of Malaysia as well. Obviously it's mostly Islam from the Malays, but there's also lots of Hindu temples, Chinese Buddhist temples, you know, um, mosques that can be seen in Kuala Lumpur in the country, which is really cool. And it affects the culture and the foods in different ways, which of course we'll talk about more later. So I really love the diversity that is present in Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia. Super cool. So all right, I'm gonna stop teasing everybody. Number three that I love about Malaysia is the food. And I just love Southeastern Asian food in general, but some of the foods in Malaysia are delicious. Things like roti chanai, which is kind of like Indian influence brought to Malaysia. Some things like nasi lemak, which is, you know, more Malay food. Some things from like China, maybe like bakute or a bihumi. These sort of things are absolutely delicious. I love satay. I love rojak, like the little salad thing. I love some of the curry mi, which is kind Kind of like you know Chinese anyway the food is just super diverse rendang sorry guys I'm, I'm I'm getting so hungry just talking about all these amazing foods from Malaysia I love them all they're so fun and unique to try you don't always like see them in America in the West you might see you know Thai food is very popular but I did never heard of rendang I've never heard of nasi lemak before doing research and visiting Malaysia so it's really cool to try out all these different amazing diverse foods with all these influences and strong spicy flavors and I love spicy food in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia Next on my list is going to be the affordability. Now this of course can be different from like whatever country you're visiting from, but from a Western perspective, it was definitely more affordable than a lot of other countries I visited, even in like Southeast Asia. For example, I visited Bali, Indonesia, which is also Southeast Asia, but the prices there were more expensive. The prices in Singapore were more expensive. The prices in like, you know, other Asian countries like Korea and Japan, more expensive, whereas in Kuala Lumpur, you can go eat some delicious food at a restaurant, go to some markets, do some tour space activities and it's all very affordable and the market the food in the markets is like a really good deal and really good quality of flavor as well so i love that in kuala lumpur it's definitely an affordable city where you can do a lot without having to break the bank and finally a massive city like kuala lumpur has opportunity to have a great skyline and beautiful city views and it definitely does. So number five is going to be the skyline of Kuala Lumpur. Now, something I've heard about Malaysia and Malaysians is the people there are like, kind of like very proud of having like the biggest and best things. Like, oh, we have the second tallest tower in the world. Or, oh, we have the tallest Petronas Towers, Twin Towers in the world. And maybe that's like, you know, um, taking part in the culture with uh, um, skyscrapers because there are so many beautiful skyscrapers to see. Whether we're talking about the Petronas Twin Towers, Merdeka 118, the KL Tower, and they glow different colors at night and are extremely beautiful and it is one of the most beautiful city skylines I've seen arguably maybe like Seattle and Tokyo are gorgeous as well but I definitely really enjoyed it the skyline in Kuala Lumpur so that's another thing making it five things that I love about Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia 
So what do you think, everybody? Do you agree with these things in Kuala Lumpur? And did you see my five things I hate about Malaysia? Sort of. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you love about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia? Do you agree with the things that I love? I'd love to hear from you. And definitely make sure to check out my coming video on Malaysia and travel in general. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.